Okay, there we go. What's going on, everybody? How we doing? We're live. Welcome back to the Worst Magic Arena stream. Today, um, after the other day when we played Defile Our Vigor with Halan and Elena, uh, that, that wasn't enough Halan and Elena for me. So uh, they're, they're back again, Halan and Elena partners. Um, I, I freaking love them. Um, and they're here as a centerpiece and actually uh, my bloated contaminator. Um, little uh, deck today. It, it, it's not super great or anything. We just have a lot of counters, and I'm going to throw Bloated Contaminator in there, because whenever it deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. So, um, the thing is screaming for Halan and Elena, right? Because it proliferates. It has Trample, so more damage will get it through. It needs the haste right now. Tana, welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. It also has Toxic 1, right? So when we proliferate, we start proliferating up that, uh, that poison damage. That's probably almost never going to be relevant today, but nevertheless, um, it is a possibility. Um, let's see. So, um, bada bing, bada boom in the title. Um, enter Volder and Thrillseeker, and I suppose they're hiding in the corner. Uh, our one of Cacophony Scamp, who can uh, do something similar. Um, Volder and Thrillseeker, of course, with that wonderful backup ability. We've used it to a great effect here on the Worst Magic Arena stream. Backup two, um, and it and the backup duh creature for the turn both have one and sack it deals damage equal to its power to any target that is a fling that is freaking awesome but not only that that's an activated ability so that's one of uh, a few activated abilities that i have today to uh, go underneath agatha's soul cauldron here it's basically uh that one let's see canker bloom uh, i guess intrepid paleontologist it's not bad to get graveyard hate on uh, all of our stuff right and uh there you are hiding out there kami of whispered hopes nice uh, mana ability there um i started out with four intrepid paleontologists in this deck like i always do but i figure since i'm curving out into four four drops i i don't know if i really need the dork so uh enter agatha's soul cauldron mildly interestingly it can help us um make it so that two power creatures draw us cards out of tribute to the world tree or even that a kami of whispered hopes a one one can enter and draw us a card out of tribute to the world tree by holding full control right when the uh, creature enters and tribute goes onto the stack we uh we can use agatha's on the on the uh, card that tribute is about to to check out right get it to uh the three power that tribute wants to see in order to draw a card so that's just a mildly a uh, little interesting thing there um i'm pretty much ready to go here's this page if you want uh we, we still got 24 lands i do want to hit my land drops I, I i wouldn't mind playing multiple things in a turn i do have tribute to the world tree in this fucking of course i mean it puts you know counters on my little creatures um so that i can uh proliferate them too cacophony scamp has a little proliferate too it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have a cacophony scamp who can um you know when it when it deals combat damage to a player you can uh, sacrifice it if you do proliferate right blah 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 when it dies deals damage equal to its power to any target i think i uh i think i should do this one. Oh yeah okay we're gonna get that one today let's go boys 750 oh Ah, oh, man. Yeah, Halan and Elena, Bloated Contaminator. It's not, like, super good or something. Honestly, the the decks so far usually haven't worked out with this, but it, it's just so fun for me to do, man. Turn 3, Bloated. Turn 4, Halan and Elena comes in. Or even better, turn 3, Tribute. Turn 4, Bloated. Or turn 4, Halan and Elena, you know, and then the next turn, whatever, get the other one of those two down. Oh, gosh. I love that stuff. I don't love this hand. I'm, I'm going to keep... I. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't even keep that. I don't know. I I think it could be so bad that I shouldn't keep it. Got the bloat. Goat. Yes. Oh, Raging Bull was good. Welcome to the worst. Magic Grand Stream. Thank you for coming by. Fucking okay. How about this one? Because whatever we do is going to die. Honestly, how about this one then? So that way we can use all of our mana. Instead of just one mana. I don't know. Okay. Uh, your boy was really looking for the tribute to the world tree there. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Johnny, good afternoon. Welcome to the worst magic green stream. Thank you for coming by. Uh, we'll just exile that from our graveyard so that they can't. Right, because they, they'll also make us lose a life, so there's really no sense. Plus, I, I guess we'll have its mana ability. Um, oh, hang on, I have to move my text box here. All right, there you go. So it saves us a life. It's good. It 
kind of needlessly put a mana ability under there. Whatever. I, I guess our query and beast caller will be a uh, modified creature. <sighs> or do we do tribute here? Okay. See if they choose to uh, exile their spell. Obliterator. All right, let's just uh, do this. Pass turn. Holy shitterator. You know, I don't really like the card, but a lot of times I see it. If it's in a multicolor deck, I do kind of give a little bit of credit. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> I do kind of like that. Um, what if what if there was a way that we could win this turn? I highly doubt there is, right? There's no way that we could win this turn. Um, let me hit thinking. We actually have an interesting ability right now under Agatha's Soul Cauldron, right? Because our creatures right now have had one mana of any color. Um... Yep, okay, he says nice, so he, he gets it. We're going to think here. Um, is there any way that we can do Volder and Thrillseeker and just fucking win the whole entire game? Is there any way that I can do it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go for it, boys. I, I don't really know. I'm just so fucking curious that I have to try. All right, right there. Quirion Beast Callers counters go where? Whoa! Whoa, they did that? Um, hang on, hang on. We can stop that from gaining them life here. Um, it's going to be a little tricky, but I think that we can stop them from doing that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we can be a little bit pricky and tricky. Um, hang on, full control. All right, now take it out of our graveyard. Yes, submit. Yep. Okay, now we'll put that here. Now I'll tap this for one mana of any color. I'll sacrifice. Uh, right, hang on here. Uh, okay, now hang on. Boys, right there, boom. You you are I don't have to ask, right? I don't even have to say it. I don't even I don't I know I don't have to say it. Don't make me say it. Th and thank you. Thank God bless. Thank you for the like on my stream. God bless. Holy shit. W fucking what? Hang on a second. That's freaking clutch, says old Raging Bull, with the exactly perfect thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds like needing an exile obliterator card, says Johnny. <sighs> I am so happy that we uh, worked around an obliterator with my deck that deals direct damage. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Well done, indeed. I. <sighs> okay, you know what? Maybe, I don't know... That's just one thing, but, like, maybe Cacophony Scamp could, like, be nudged up from one to two. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that that's that's just one one isolated instance, but that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for the hundreds in chat. Oh, the hearts in chat. I'm, I'm feeling, you know what, honestly, I've said this before, but, like, when good things happen at the beginning of the stream, that's so good. Because, like, tr 
you know, typically you lose viewers over the course of any video. Um, so it's just so nice that that could happen at the beginning because, I mean, you know, like a lot of people will like it, you know. Then that gets it out to more people, yada, 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 yada. Oh, my boy. My fucking boy! Bloated! Alright. Attack. Um, next turn, we will have a Shivan Devastator. Uh, mm, maybe not be able to swing through all the way. It depends how much they can get down here. Yeah, we, we might not be able to get around that. Um... I guess they can only level that up once here, right? So that's kind of okay. That's that's kind of incredibly lucky. I think we do X equals three here. Um, let's go ahead and attack right there. Felix, yes, bloat them, big fat. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we can. That, uh, that warden's gonna be scary in a moment, though. Oh, they convoked for it. Oh, all right, they do get something else on the field. They're tapping, so you know, they, they, they might survive here. If I get a, a good draw here, and I don't, um, but if I did, that would have been it. Um, let's attack. Um, okay, let's drop this. I was gonna say, G ooh, ooh, that's pretty sweet. But your cacophony, yeah, that was pretty incredible. Oh, that's that's bad for us. Yeah, he he might have it one here, um, because that thing's gonna have vigilance, right? We're gonna need a thrill seeker, pretty much. No attack with your vigilance. You must he must have forgotten. He's he's playing pretty well. He. He definitely forgot that that thing has vigilance. <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely playing pretty well. All right, um, that's it. Yep, he uh, he makes the proper blocks. Very good. Bye bye. All right, well, fair enough. We tried. We uh, had poopy little top decks there. Yeah, I don't know that uh. I don't know, maybe maybe that cacophony scamp could go up to two, but in place of what? Would it be in place of a C note scout? I I would say probably a C note scout because um I guess the only other thing there is evolving adaptive and that is a creature made out of counters, which is pretty much what I want in here. So that when we do get those uh proliferates like they're good. Fine. Whatever, I'll keep it. Um, another card that could be, it could be all right in a gruel, um, a gruel tribute to the world tree deck. I don't know about, um, today's deck, but that Yavamaya Iconoclast is a three, two trampler for two mana. And it does have a kicker that'll make it cost more and one that gives it like haste with its kicker or something, possibly plus one. I, I don't remember. Um, let's do this. Um, is it paleontologist? Yeah. Wow, okay. Wow, Sentinel of the Nameless City. I kind of like that guy. <clears throat> Forces them to use Blood Tithe Harvester to uh, kill it if they don't have another kill for it. Richard, okay, okay. I'll be good. What's going on, Richard? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. All right, they do that. Nice and annoying.
Is it Helena and Elena, or is it, you know, it's bloated contaminator, honestly. Bloated contaminator, and then we'll do this. Um, fine. They're, uh, they're looking really good here. It's going to be tough to deal with them, I think. Cool stuff from them, not going to lie. Obnixilis. Looking like a Lizzle deck. So, oh, is that uh, is that so? Is that what this is, this is looking like here? How how are we doing this? Is it uh, Helana and Elena here? Um, we might have to use them to block off Nixless, so yeah, we, it might have to be Helen and Elena here. Um, I think I have to try to attack. Although, I think, now that I think about it, yeah, we just lose, right? Because, well, I, I guess if they can't kill Helen and Elena, I can block off Nixless. But we're going to be so low. We're, we're, we're really not going to do enough damage, right? Unless we... Un I guess if we top deck the Voldorin Thrill Seeker. Oh, War Leader's Call. Well, that is going to be... Uh, yeah, that's going to be a good game. That's it. Alright, I blocked this one. <clears throat> oh, I... Oh, right. Like This one can't attack. I thought we were taking 8 damage. Wait, what? Oh, it has Trample, it has Trample. Okay, okay, yep, good game. Ain't the Pope working with the Muslims? Me. Ain't the Pope working for who? Friend. Muslims. He's from the East, ain't he? You need to understand the last... Okay, that, that's where that comes from. You need to understand the last real conversation I had to, about popes went like this. By the way, Richard, just letting you know, if this is from your comments that you sent me, I, I actually uh, I logged into my account for the first time today to Big Fat MTG like at about 5.20 or something. Like I, I didn't have time to get to, uh, to this until... Uh, late today all right let's uh let's go ahead and keep this so i i didn't uh, i didn't read your comments just letting you know and i'm not <laughs> ignoring you i just okay, right here i had to make that fucking thumbnail in a flash all right let's get this one down i like this hand picnic ruiner picnic ruiner is good I would assume that it's going to get Monstrous Rage. We're going to have real trouble if we can't deal with that. Wow. Um, I mean, I'll block 10 damage, I, I guess. Wow, dude, that's brutal. All right, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, do I attack with that? Because this is good, and I might want to use Canker Bloom to block to deal with it. Nah, 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 we good. Let's keep the pressure on. I just feel bad. Not much for conversation around these parts. Okay, Picnic Ruiner, and now... Monstrous Rage on it, yes? I would assume yes. Um, let's do this, and I would assume that's what's happening. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna guess he can't find his monstrous rage. Um, how the hell am I doing this shit? Do I get bloated contaminator down? Yeah, I think so. Right, because that that makes him think now. A little bit of math going on. I 
I probably should block that thing, to be honest. I mean, he really could win if I don't. He really could. He has this thing right here in his graveyard to make me worry about. Maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe that's all in my head, but I mean, that thing has double strike. You know, I can't just fuck around with that. <laughs> um... Boys, this is actually kind of poop. This is actually kind of really poo-poo right now. Um, I, mean, I think Cankerbloom is the way to handle this one. I keep on being worried about Monstrous Rage. Cankerbloom can be set as this thing's blocker, and then when they put Monstrous Rage on it, we can sacrifice it to destroy the um, the roll token. It, it seems like they don't have Monstrous Rage now, but it's still living rent-free in my head. Wow, plus two end gains what? Haste until end of turn. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Do I want my thing to die here? Do I want my thing to die here? Um, all right, well, we're, we're rolling the dice there. Oh, it makes a 2-2 token. Oh, shit. Now all he has to do is play actually Monstrous Rage on, and that's it. Now we get it right up to 9, which is what he needs on that double striking. Not gonna lie, though. Pretty awesome that we have 3 lands. I mean, he, he has 2. I, I feel like his deck can probably handle 2 more than mine can handle 3. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, fine. Yeah, like I said, I think he can handle 2 a little better than we can handle 3. Good game, I little screwed there, though. Too bad. Cute little game by them. Moonwatcher, good evening. Oh, Raging Bull says you could fuck around, but then you'd probably find out. A special good evening to the Blue Flyers players who roped me earlier today because I... Oh, oh man, that, that's so beautifully seasoned with salt. Oh, wow. How did he get that sleeve? Oh, shit, I, I wish I saw it. I don't even remember what um sleeve that was, but uh, fuck yeah, Kyle Scott. What's good, man? How are we doing? Very nice to have you here on the worst Magic Arena stream. Kyle Scott was the first name that I ever recognized in chat from, like, fucking I don't know. From a, a double-digit number of subs that pro was probably closer to zero than it was to a hundred. So it's very nice to see you, sir. All right. Oh, that, uh, the Wag Mount. I, I wonder if it's in the store, then. I wonder if it's, um, for pre-order. Let's see, the Oka one, the Vraska one, and then maybe that one comes with the Battle Pass. Is that what comes with the Battle Pass? Does it come with an extra set of sleeves? I forget. I mean, am I just dead, honestly? Like, I, I... I'm sorry, I've just, I've seen it before, and I, I think I'm dead. I, I think they went first and had an excessively good start. I don't see myself coming back. I, I'm going to be real, like, I kind of can, but I don't feel like trying, because it, I, I don't care enough. It, it's, 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 it's honestly, it's a repetitive, frivolous task. I'm good. The Air Force thing in the comments I just heard on the New Mexico news. I had okay, so I'll uh, I'll ha I'll be reading that after the uh, worst Magic Arena stream here. Then Richard had to share my rage in the moment. I'm looking forward to your rage, Richard. I'm gonna have to make sure to be not too antagonistic in my responses. I'm gonna try to be nice. 
Peyton, yes! Welcome back to the worst Magic Green Stream. Peyton, very nice to have you. You made a new deck, so I think I will go ahead and fight it. Okay. Uh, you. You. Ah, dude. Bruh. God, you'd love to see it. That sleeve could be. Oh, thank you, Nash. Music with the uh, with the real actual uh, the real actual information. I appreciate that. There you go. That's for you, Kyle. Sleeve could be one with the first April event. Fucking there you go. All right, let's uh oh uh, oh uh, let's get down to this one. Uh, yes, and that'll be all. That's turn. Wow, that's sushi. Atsushi. All right, uh, we need the land fucking desperately here, dude. This is this is pathetic. Um, this is this is straight pathetic, dude. Um, on who? I have my twenty-four lands. I was a good boy. Yeah, good attack with that sushi here. All right, well. And down to the last card. All right, we drew our fourth land finally. I'm not going to lie. I wish we didn't because bearing down on that. Yeah, that's uh that's uh, that was a three land game. You shouldn't have given me the fourth. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I was outramped three lands to six. That is an inconsequential play. Bullshit. Three lands. Fourth doesn't count. Not. I'm striking it from the record. Move to strike. Motion granted. Stricken. The jury will fucking disregard that we drew the fourth land because that's bullshit. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. The stream is delayed. So when. Okay, you can send it to me. Okay, you got it, Peyton. You got it. Go, baby. Bloated. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, honestly... Maybe I should sound more enthusiastic. Like, oh my god, yes. Ginger brood. Oh, okay. Very. Ooh. Ooh, I wouldn't mind getting his ginger brood under my Agatha's Soul Cauldron and then giving all of my creatures. Uh, yeah, sure, the food ability, but how about can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste? Yes, I would very much like that. This could give me a surveil. I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Yes. Yeah, the the Boulder and Thrill Seeker played. If I needed butts on the field. Love seeing a forest on the other side of the field. Yeah, man. Gotta gotta commend anybody will, willing, brave, or silly enough to play green in these days. All right, we're, we're going to do the Volder and Thrill Seeker thing because it's a lot of fun. All right, attack with Beast Caller. All right, yep. Now I'll... I think I'll... Fling it. Yeah, let's go ahead and fling it. And then we'll reassign its counters. 
the thrill seeker that is one of my favorite things to do okay yep and now you have a butt beefed up guy sure who uh yep who has the evasion very good Yes, I'm clicking. Thank you. The deck you used this time is better than... Oh, definitely, Peyton. Yeah, this one has a... This one has stuff, like, built into it that I already know is good. For example, what we just saw there, Query and Beast Caller, Volder and Thrillseeker, and then Halan and Elena mixed in there. Uh, one moment, please, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just... Uh... Yeah, let, let me just... I, I think that that's kind of interesting there. It, it is a red one drop in a deck that definitely favors green. But I, I think I can get away with that. Oh, Moonwatcher. Oh, great question, Moonwatcher. Biggest fattest. Have you ever done Thrillseeker with Yargle and Multani? Shout out right now. Um, check out my playlist. I always organize my videos into a by color and uh, you know format. So this goes out to everybody. Um, I have in Jund Standard from like a year, year and a half ago, whatever. I did in fact. Um, fling Yargle and Multani. Thank you for asking. Yeah, and um, I made it a fight rigging deck because I figured if I was going to use the Voldoran Thrill Seeker to fling big creatures, then, you know, there are those very aggressively statted cards like Shakedown Heavy and Archfiend of the Dross at the time. This is before Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Um, that would uh, be really nice uh, fling. So, yeah, we definitely did it a couple of times in that stream. I love that you asked that. Oh shit, nice Quint sleeves. Is that Quint? Hang on, I gotta bring it up here. It's behind my uh, text box. Alright, alright, yeah. Now I'll bring it up nice for you guys. Wow, Cankerbloom holds off that, all that damage by itself. The new Gitrog mount would also fit that deck well. A Yargle, okay, a Jund, Flingy, Big Boys. I'm interested. I like the new um, Gitrog. It's got it's got haste, right? Pretty sure that has haste. All right, um, I'll block this one. I think the uh, monsters. They they always have the combat trick. I know they always have the combat trick. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Yup, haste and trample for five mana. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And in the colors, that's that new, what is it, Vraska joins up or something? I don't want to spell out what it is. Um, but, yeah, that could be interesting with a uh, creature that has trample. Oh, I theory crafted. Okay, always fun to theory craft a mount deck, but unfortunately, yeah, <laughs> that I'll never actually be able to do due to wild cards. Why? 
guess it sounds fucking sweet. I like to hear it. Um, maybe we block a cacophony scamp here. I I want Helena and Elena to live, and I think that's the way it lives through monstrous rage. <clears throat> if we live, we have a big turn coming up. We're at sixteen. If that thing gets powered up, this is bad for us. Yeah, he had the handful of fucking power-ups. All right, dude. Yep, down to his last card. There you go. That'll probably be everything. <clears throat> of course. Yep. Perfection. Gorgeous. Not a dud, not a hiccup. Too bad, ready with the Volder and Thrill Seeker and five mana to play it for three and then have two one mana fling activates. Wow. Oh boy. All right. All right. And that that third land's got to come, but we put 24 of them into the into the deck, so Eh, let's get this one done. Please. 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 Um, I think I'm going to put this down. Get a little aggressive there. Oh, this is Bant, right? All right. Um, how exactly do we do this? Can we win here with Volder and Thrillseeker? We can do a lot of damage, I think. I'm down to try it here. All right, it goes on Cacophony Scamp, I believe. Right there. All right, we'll attack. We'll proliferate first. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's uh, do this. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. Let's just sacrifice it this way, sure. Oh, wait, 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 fuck, 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 I missed the vault. Whatever, my bad, my bad, my bad. Ah, uh, no, I should have done it this way, my bad. I, I forgot that that was uh, stupid. All right, my bay, my bay. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab the red, whatever. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, I'll, I'll iron out that kink in my gameplay. All right, yeah, pass. We want Volder and Thrillseeker underneath Agatha's Soul Cauldron, so she can't get exiled. If we do this right, we can win. Attack. Yes, please attack. All right, let's see if we could do it. Leyline Binding. They might get Agatha's Soul Cauldron here. I think they might see that happening. Wow, they got that. Um, hang on. Is there any way that we can win here? Is there any way? Hang on, hang on. Let's see. 
We bring them down to... I, I really wish I hadn't fucked up the last one, by the way. Then we would win right now. I Damn it, I'm only doing this because I fucked up. All right, let's see. This brings them down to seven, and then this would bring them down... Um, I think it's worth it to maybe... Is it worth it to do this? Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so get you. Thank you. Shit. I wish I hadn't fucked up. God damn it. Alright, so. Can we modify this for the win? Let's uh, let's pass the turn. Let's not do it preemptively. Let's wait for them to cast on it. Because we could just do it at instant speed whenever. I'm, I'm not going to preemptively do Agatha's Soul Cauldron and then have them respond with a uh, ley line. <clears throat> Alright, this will be our first attempt here. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, fuck, 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 when a creature card is... Alright, alright, my bad, my bad. I totally forgot that Agatha's uh, Soul Cauldron works like that. Um, my bad, alright, 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 my bad. <laughs> really a mess here. We're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right, boys. All right, I think we'll uh, move to attack. A uh, total, total, uh, total wreck there. My bad, boys. Total wreck. Yeah, but Voldoran Thrill Seeker is actually like. Nuclear underneath Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Thank you, Moonwatcher. Yeah, this uh, this cute little deck, it, it's got a cute little trick up its sleeve with the Agatha's Soul Cauldron. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the compliment there. Um, Agatha's Soul Cauldron is also a little more useful in this deck because um, even though it's not. A, uh, a creature with power three or greater, right? We do have four fucking tributes in this deck. Of course, I have four tributes in this deck. This is a big fat MTG. But um, Agatha's Soul Cauldron can be used like with full control to also, you know, when tribute triggers, um, like you know, and it looks at Query and Beast Caller, for example, with two plus one with two power, right? We can uh, use Agatha's Soul Cauldron to beef up a two power creature to a three, you know, before tribute checks it out. Or also beef up the Kami of Whispered Hopes to three. You know, even though it enters as a one power, it makes it sad it accepts two counters from Soul Cauldron. Super cool. Um, another thing that's super cool is the fact that we just got our uh, Source of Red there. I have a bunch of duels in this. About like 10 or 11 or something. And then like one mountain, you know, for, uh, you know, demolition field purposes like we saw last game. Um, let's go ahead and do Bloated. Kind of shitty, though, that they have Hulking Raptor plus uh, two there. I'm, I'm about to drop my fourth land. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be... Uh... Right. Oh, but brother. I know there's a hero inside you. First strike. Yep, no attack. Uh, yeah, that's going to be really difficult to deal with. Uh, that's going to be just about impossible to deal with, to be honest. I can try something here, though. Because if they block Query and Beast Caller with that thing, it has First Strike, which means that the counters are going to go on to Bloated Contaminator. He might get greedy and not block with Armored Scrap Gorger. If he doesn't, then we kill Elspeth. All right, so we reassign those counters. Yep, we'll reassign right there. Uh, yeah, I wish I didn't have to deal that thing any. So yeah, good, uh, good, uh, good play by them. They definitely uh, saw that one. 
Yeah, definitely hats off to them. Sweet deck. Ramping into Elspeth Planeswalker. Okay, so now maybe they'll minus... El oh, wait, they can't minus Elspeth. All right, yeah, fair enough. They just plus it on nothing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we have nothing to do there. Uh, pass turn. <clears throat> wow, dude. He's mana screwed, but he's coming up with shit to do. I know there's a hero inside you. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what we can draw at this point. That's really gonna... Yeah, that's... Uh, you know what? Good game. But, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's absolutely... Uh, that's a GG. <laughs> Four lands in hand, unfortunately. He's he's doing great with his three lands. God bless him. Very nice. Never mind, says Moonwatcher. Oh, it was the Sunfall. Oh. Oh. Man. He's got some great stuff there. Ramping into Elspeth like that. Putting those nice uh, combat keywords on... Um, like, for example, Hulking Raptor is really awkward because it has three toughness, you know? But the plus one, plus one counter brings it up to four toughness so it doesn't die to, like, Bolt, bolt and, uh, you know... Um, Brotherhood's end, and then on top of that, um, you know, giving it first strike like that makes it so that that fucking awkward creature can't die to, like, you know, things like a canker bloom in combat. Um, okay, this is just going to sit here, and okay, I'll go ahead and restart the application. Thank you guys for your patience on behalf of uh, Wizards of the Coast. Thank you for your money. Game's not getting fixed. Not not gonna not gonna stop crashing. Okay, loading back up. I just when when I um restart the app, I like to turn off the screen just in case it brings up like the the email sign in whatever. Be right. We'll have the lights on for you in a moment, boys and girls. Don't be afraid of the dark. Big fat MTG here to guide you through to the light at the end. Don't worry about that. That's we're not using that as the metaphor for death. We're we're, we're going to see you through. Don't you worry. There's there's. There's a brighter day ahead. Filled with W's. Filled with bloated contaminator. Smashing in. Filled with Voldoran thrill seekers underneath Agatha's soul cauldron. Okay, are we good? Do you want to load now? Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I like this hand. It's a good hand. All, all my fucking favorites. These are like my standbys, like for the last year. Just these guys. Gang's all here. Why can't my card send you coffee? Going to steal my mom's card out of her purse like a freaking child. It's only elder abuse. Hey, lip sealed, man. I ain't telling. It's only it's only that if you get caught too, you know. So hey, yeah. Fuck it. Also, my man, thank you. Um, links in the description if anybody is ever feeling generous enough to uh, donate to Big Fat MTG. Let's uh, let's drop our Rockfall Veil. Let's attack and then let's drop Beast Caller. Okay. Yeah. Beast Caller. We're going to drop Beast Caller. Let's, let's get some confidence. Let's put some confidence on Beast Caller's name. Dropping Beast Caller. Jix. Oh. Oh. You able to see totality? Oh, I'm, I'm not even sure. I, I haven't been looking into it, Adamance, but it's uh, it's like lower uh, lower New York, the uh, the part of New York that matters. Not nice. Shout out to my people in Pencil Tucky. Pencil Tucky Right there. 
where they belong, and, uh... Yeah, that's the attack. Alright, nobody tell this guy. Don't fucking tell him. But he'll on Elena. First strike and reach. Oh, yeah. Oof. Ah, you should be close then, if not in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, he knows that we have another Holan and Elena. I, I just remembered, right? <laughs> That's a bat. No, duh. Of course, he knows what's in my hand. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to do... Aquarium Beast Caller is going to be an 8-8, eight, eight, it looks like, by the time we attack, right? 6-6 six, six when we cast, and then 8-8, uh, eight, eight, swing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Honestly, if anybody's interested in this deck, like I, I feel like f a fourth Thrill Seeker might not be terrible in it. Maybe it's too much. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe the four tribute to the world trees are too much, though. Uh, maybe this deck could use like Doom Scar Warriors instead of tribute. They're really nice with um, they're really nice with Halan and Elena. And they find you more Thrill Seekers. Yeah, so you give some room to uh, mess about with. Do your own thing. I don't really like this hand. I'm going to go ahead and take a mulligan, even though, like, it, it's keepable. Okay. Okay, well, I regret it. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's not worth it. Yeah, forget it. Oh, yeah, mulligan to five. I'm going second against... But yeah, dude, peace. Hey, hey, thank you for making it easy to me. Fucking shout out to you, man. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I could have spent 60 seconds there and then still lost the, the exact same way. Shit. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling awesome. Oh, you're right in it this year. Hey, enjoy, Adaminsk. Freaking all right. Richard says, seriously, the closest point to totality for us is in uh, Mexico. Wow, or um, Texas. Oh, ooh, in Texas. Oh, Richard Dragon in Texas. Oof. I don't know if you want to go there. It's, it's Tejas, man. You're going to be so much smarter than all those idiots. Uh, mm, do I want this guy down next turn? I traveled to Hopkinsville, Kentucky, seven... Wow, okay, you traveled... Oh, I, I think I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless, freaking cool. Um, let's go ahead and get down, um, Sentinel. Sentinel's gonna have great... Gonna be great to have down with, um, Cacophony Scamp, right? So that we can, uh... Dump the map counters on that thing, I think. That's going to be a uh, pretty much one of our primo acceptors of plus one, plus one counters today. And I don't, I don't have um, the Ozilus Shattered Spire in this deck. I think it would be great in here, too. Um, I, I just don't have it. There's so many things that I like, and I can't fit them into one deck all, all the time. That's actually why I use so little removal so often. I just, I just have so many things that I want to do. I'm not trying to be irresponsible. Tgat, yes. Sorry, I'm late. I might find it in my heart to forgive you, Tgat. Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream. It's very nice to have you. Um, do we do this one and just turn up the pressure on him, um, or do we do like Cacophony Scamp and then really start? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this. All right, let's uh, let's attack. Um, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up by attacking with that. My bad. Shit, I'm, I'm a wreck right now. My big boys. I'm, I'm going to try to do better. My bad. This is a oof, bit, of, bit of a wreck. Bit of a wreck. Um, That's good, but... that It's nice that it's a creature, but yeah, let's get rid of that. I don't really need that right now. Also, thank you, TGAT, for that. Let's replace pin message. Fuck yeah. Love to see it. The caps, digging it. Very good. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Alright, they're going to give that warden the um, vigilance. Yeah, well, we're going to need the thrill seekers. Oh, I said we're going to need the thrill seekers, dude. That's not the thrill seekers. Uh, we could get a fat attack in here, though. We could fuck the because we need to fuck this thing up. I think we can get. I think we can make that happen. Can we do that with this? I think we can do it with this. All right, let's uh, attack with all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one is going to get. I'm trying to kill everything here. Alright. Uh, that's who? That is you. Um, nah, let's, uh, let's leave you there. Let's leave you. You. Uh, yes. Uh, submit zero. We'll deal the damage right there, I think, right? I think it's best to do that. We could hit them here. I think it's best to hit here. And now they also don't have the flyer. Chuddy man, yes! What's good? Welcome to the worst magic race stream. Thank you for coming by. I will I will take all my redneck friends. I'll fit right in. Okay, okay, good. Just not any of my Spanish rednecks. They get stopped at the border every time. They don't even speak Spanish, says Richard. It's funny. I mean, racial profiling is wrong. Okay. Oh, the MK. Okay. Bravo, Richard. I love it. Very good. Very good. All right. So basically, we just run the Shiv and Devastator at them, right? I, I mean, I that looks like exactly what it is, right? Looks like we just run the Devastator at them. Uh, let's attack. I don't think it's worth attacking with Cacophony Scamp here. I don't want to uh, block with it either if I don't have to, right? I want to use the map token on it. Um, and we'll have two chances to actually use a map token on it, right? And then we can just attack. Not gonna lie, I sweet a uh, sweet take on what a lot of people are doing here. Big old Jess guy convoke. I, I like this guy. Not even gonna lie, man. Honestly, thank you for <laughs> delivering me some variety, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't even need to do the map tokens, right? Well, let's just do the man land again. All right, I'm trying to wake up and be better than the wreck that I've been, okay? I'm, I'm attempting. Well, at least we did that correctly. Yep, so we take everything he sends. It doesn't fucking matter. And then we win. Right, he doesn't have anything wild. He doesn't have any lifelink going on, right? He has one there. That should probably do it. We just make sure that bonus happens to Cacophony Scamp. There you go. That'll do it. That's a little too hot to handle. Event doesn't matter how he handles the Scamp. It's gonna die. The Martinez family has been in this town since, wow, 1640 or some crap. They got so mad on spring. They get so mad on spring break in Mexico. 
I, I heard somewhere they were trying to uh, limit tour li limit spring break tourism. You're sick of getting trashed up too bad. I don't remember if it was like, yeah, Mexico. What's that? Yeah, Western Mexico, just across the border. I've, yeah, you know, it's the the name is sli everybody knows what the fuck it is. Name slipping me right now. Um, mm, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna sub succumb to greed. <clears throat> I'm gonna think better of good ideas, and I'm gonna do what I want to do, which is uh. Fucking spam my creatures. Alright. Looks like it gets bounced. Schooner. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. That's fine. They look like a racist. Well, then it is their fault. Yeah, if, they, if they're going to... As a matter of fact, they're pricks. Why they got to do that? <laughs> they're the reason why people use those stereotypes. Tana, we are here for the green blitz. Fucking go. Okay, 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 okay. You know, I, I got to do this one, right? I got to be getting three mana things down. Maybe as a bounce. As intrepid paleontologist getting bounced here isn't the worst thing in the world. Bro, wait, am I I have two lands and you just went double deep root pilgrimage and your whole setup? You're entirely set up, dude. I'm looking for my third the, the game's over now. Yeah, I, I Fucking what? Uh, no, let's, uh, do I attack with Beast Caller here? Um, no, let's, uh, no attack. Let's, uh, let's actually just do this right now. I, I think we're just dead. I mean, look at the setup that this guy had to my two lands. Yeah, goodbye. Fuck <laughs> yeah, bro. You you can't you can't make it up a third yeah sure okay bud okay okay the third deep that that's an un that's like an unranked game right there just you you you're handcuffed the whole time while your opponent effortlessly gets god mode and if you ever do anything they have a replacement that that's an unranked game to me in ranked it's usually fine yeah, yeah. The game goes either way, and that's how magic is. Sometimes you get unlucky, sometimes you get lucky. In ranked, I always get un or in unranked, sorry, I always get unlucky, and they always get lucky. It's pretty. It's it's a different game. And then ranked is fine. You know, it's okay. Sometimes good, sometimes it's bad. It happens. It's in unranked. Something ain't right. Something ain't really ain't right. Um, um I don't know. Maybe this one. Uh, maybe it's the scamp here. Bro, do I have to go second against you Boros Chuds every time, dude? I faced infinity of you today. I faced infinity of you yesterday. I faced infinity of you the day before. And infinity of you the day before that. My children will face infinity of you. Their children will face infinity of you. We will resent you, we will hate you, we will curse your family name for generations. Uh, that's awesome. I honestly, I'm not even going to lie, I don't even want to play the game. I, I, I just don't want to play that. I, I, I don't care.
I'll, I'll play it. Maybe if, you know, I'm having a good game. Maybe I went first, doing all right. Yeah. Other than that, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have Canker Blooms against what is possibly... It might not be Insidious Roots. It might just be Black Aggro. Yeah, I'm thinking possibly Black Agra right there. Let's get blue to death. <clears throat> they have a creature in their graveyard. So we could get a counter, a counter on Bloated Contaminator. We had Category 2. Wow, the other day. Yeah, you were talking about the weather. Wow, so it was Category 2. Goodness. Yeah, for nearly 48 hours. Oof! All right, they dropped that thing. Nice and annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do we attack here? Let's uh, let's attack. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's take that. All right, that'll be a uh, end turn. Jesus, dude. Are you going to do anything? Well, I, I mean, I guess he actually has stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just take this one out, I think, for now. I want to save the creatures to give myself counters. Um, we might want tribute against this guy. Liliana, okay. Um... Is my home, and I don't appreciate okay, it. discard who? Bloated things. Contaminator or Canker Bloom? <clears throat> Maybe don't Canker Bloom. A Shyuk there in their graveyard. Wow. Alright, let's uh, get rid of that. It could get Takanuma, so happy to take that out of there. Okay, interesting. Let's uh, do this. See what we draw. Okay, I'm honestly we could get this down and discard this. So I don't think we're gonna need the spare act, the soul cauldron. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pass the turn there. As long as we draw some creatures and we can start getting a tribute train going, I'm feeling good. All right, um, we'll sacrifice a creature. There's no reason to uh, do any of this, right? So, yep, go ahead, yep, bye-bye. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Okay. So, that is your third preacher. You have three lands, but you found your third preacher and your Liliana. Okay, and I'm struggling. Okay, um, sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything worth taking out there. I think we're just gonna sit here and watch the spoon feeding. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm fucking done. Yeah, <laughs> not even gonna bother, dude. Just, bro, just give give me something reasonable. Come on, I, I have I know I have a reasonable amount of cards. I've been playing these cards for like a year and a half. Just give me a reasonable amount of them. A reasonable mix. Let's go, chip chop chip. Let's do it already.
Yup, I like it. I like it. Whole heck of a lot. Dinosaur, wow. So, hulking raptor next turn, yes. Oh, brother. I think hulking rat or sorry, uh, bloated contaminator here, so we can do um, boulder and thrill seeker with it, maybe. Oh gosh, I feel I bro, I feel like an idiot right now, dude. Look at how, look at how hard the game is babying me. I feel like I feel like. A I don't think I sacrifice it. I hope I don't regret that. Did you actually... Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to do anything again, right? Because you didn't do anything with four lands last turn. Or wait, did you? Did you? Oh, you dropped a Triome last turn. Well, that's the game I won. That's, uh... I feel bad for him. That's a dumb game. That's the game I won. All right. All right. What a, what a win. Woof. I just want another nice play with Cacophony Scam, man. That was really cool at the beginning of this stream. Genuinely would love to pull that off one or two more times. We'll take it. This is this good enough. Not great. It's good enough. Oh, you are so full of it, Big Fat. That, that oh, the nice Eclipse patch goes right over the pen and NY order. Oh, nice, nice. Or bye. By, by Port Jervis. Puerto Jervis. Fucking okay. Fucking Puerto Jervis. Definitely want to attack. Yep, we will happily put a counter on Bloated Contaminator. It's Brutal Cathar. <laughs> I mean, but is there is there one person out here not getting spoon fed, including myself, in that victory last game? Um, <clears throat> I don't really know about that one. Okay, yep, yep. Wow, you know what? Honestly, fine. Maybe we can fuck him up blocking uh, Canker Bloom. Or blocking this Sentinel, right? Let's uh, let's attack, right? Let's get our uh, map token. This is good. Yeah, they have a lot of life. Fair enough, let's just take it. I like it. Okay, so green, yep, nice, very good. Oh. Alright, he's calling both red and green. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Covering his bases, alright, yep, sure. I like the icon right here. You see how red and radiant through like orange and yellow into green? That's actually bad, nice, not even gonna lie. That's very nicely animated. <laughs> two coot, uh, two cathars, yeah, that's the word, old Raging Bull. That is definitely brutal. Definitely brutal. Um, 
We could get this one. Is there any activated abilities? No, there's no activated abilities in your graveyard. Um, those guys have first strike. So let's do this. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and attack. Let's see if we can fuck up his brutal cathars here, or whatever they're called. I want him to double block it. Um, oh shit, did I did I get fucked up there? Did I maybe fuck it up there? Um, I didn't even see that coming. Yeah, my bad. I completely uh, fucked it up there. Um, is there anything that I can do then? In uh, instead, my bad. I totally uh... <laughs> right. Thalia has the fucking first strike too. Uh, my bad, yeah, then I guess I just lost there. My bad. <laughs> I, I think they were going to double spell and uh, win anyway, right, and just eat everything we had. I definitely, you know, miscalculated that might be, but once again, I really think that the double Brutal Cathar flips over here with the double spell, given that they have all these uh, cards in hand, and apparently none of them are lands, so I, I think that's a pretty good read. Wait, you're not even attacking? You're not even attacking? With, you have all of that, and you're at 27 life and gaining, and you're not even... Who? Wait, 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 wait. What? You're giving that... What are you, a blue-white player? Is that the arena garbage that I'm losing to? That's the arena trash that beat me? That attack? I, I love it. I love this hand. Let's go second against Boros with it. Oh, don't fucking... Alright. You're still a fucking NPC. Not worth my time, but... <sighs> better than the... Uh, better than the warden. I just, I, I, I couldn't even figure out a reason. Because I'm thinking there maybe there's a reason why he's not doing it, but like... With, with all that life, like, there's really no reason to not attack. Like, uh, unless if you're just having an awesome time and you kind of want to keep the game there where you're winning. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you there, uh, Hulver H. I think that was a bit dickish. Um, let's get down another one of these. My boomer mother still relies on... Hey, a lot of people do, yeah. All right, uh, no blocks. All right, this thing has a, you know, a decent butt. All right, no attacks, so surely they'll just win here with a perfect monstrous rage. They already went first. They're already red. I'm already playing one of my janky decks. Might as well be Monstrous Rage here. Might, might as well. Uh, let's block uh, this one in case it is Monstrous Rage. I think we actually get the kill there. It is. Everybody has to be perfect. Effortless. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> yeah, that looked effortless. It looked like you didn't even try. <laughs> Went first. Every perfect card. Every Everything. Sure. Sure. Am I going second again? I'm I'm really gonna actually just concede really hard against your NPC bullshit if you're Boros going first on me. Okay, okay, uh okay. Love that you just called out the arena aggro experience of getting a decent hand. Oh uh, the hand it was actually decent. I really wanted to play with that for a second. <laughs> it was kind of nice. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't. I don't mind uh, calling out what I what I think it is. I'll, I'll never be able to prove that, but kind of makes sense. Pairs well with going first with a trash hand against hype value or <laughs> control decks. I really, I really wanted to use that hand. Um, let's go ahead and do this, right? Let's uh, get any value out of Canker Bloom whatsoever here. There you go. So, at least we did that. We did not do that, I guess. Bruh, I have 24 lands in here, dude. You're killing me. You are genuinely, actually fucking slaughtering me. I mean, I, I think the game's over. Wedding announcement on the field? Yo, I'm trying... <laughs> that, that's honestly fine. We have two lands. So that doesn't matter. Honestly, I hope he's taking a while because he's laughing. He's just like, oh god. He's, ha he's having an empathy moment with us. Like, oh no. This is this is what's going on in my opponent's world somewhere across the internet. Like, oh no, this poor guy. He's he's pouring out he's pouring out some of his drink for us right now. I appreciate it, man. Wow. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go read chat while we uh while we wait for Chalupa over here to finish up. Balance balance says all raging. Well this thing has like recursion. I just realized you are going to be overrun with real NYC New Yorkers. May God be with you, you brave man. Thank you, Richard Dragon. I, I'm, I'm used to it, though. Unless if you're talking to someone else, I'm looking through chat trying to say. I, I, like, I like the rudeness. Well, not really. I... I, I you know, I like the idea of the rudeness, I guess. Maybe is a better way to say it. Uh, the idea of the abrasiveness. I like the accent. Sure, hey, I'd love to use these uh, map tokens here on Kami. I forget if I have one or two Kamis. I think I brought it down to one. When I was trying to find room for um, blah, 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 maybe a third Voldemort Thrill Seeker. Hey, you know what? At least we're going first against Red. You know what? It it, it makes the medicine go down a little bit, uh, a little bit better. I went, won't even. Oh, oh God! Oh, those trolls! The boost in people. And no offense to my boostins, but here in here in America, the, uh, the my New York Yankees have a rivalry with the Boston Red Sox, another baseball team. All right, um, no attacks. I'll use that to block Kumano. The Texans of the East, says Richard in regards to Boston. I I like it. I like it. Let's see. Um, Monstrous Rage. Um, let's go ahead and do we block it? Yeah, let's block it. Did they just hit Rage on the Phoenix chick then? Kind of have to race them like that. Chilling on one mana there. Wow. Um, you know what? I'll get Tribute down, dude. I'll do Tribute Adaptive. Um, let's attack. Alright, because it'll start beefing up all my other creatures. The other thing is I can bring down Kami and then maybe do one of these on either Kami, which still leaves it in death range, or on this, which leaves Kami as a 1-1. One, one. So I think I'm going to do this.
Right, and now Kami will enter and immediately become a 4-4, um, four, four, right? And then we'll have five mana, so we'll have the two mana to also invest into these uh, map tokens. So I we might have gotten really fortunate that our opponent over here had, what, one land for how many turns? This is turn, This is, that was my fourth turn, and I think this is their first turn with a second land. Wow. Yes, Felix. She vold our end till I seek her. Um, this is gonna become too big with monsters rage, right? So let's block there. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just there, just there. Because if I if I block this monsters rage, get it becomes four toughness. Yeah, there at least I you know we the creature. I, I think that's okay. That's honestly shitty. I really wanted to be that to make that thing a five six here and actually block with confidence. Treasure token. So that's going to be another monstrous rage then. Okay, Kami of Whispered Hopes blocks Monastery Swift Spear. So if it gets monstrous rage, it becomes four toughness. It becomes a five four. We trade in combat with Kami. Yeah, we're definitely blocking that. Just like that. Ah, okay. Yep, we still kill the Monastery Swiss Spear. We still have our Vigilance guy here. Um, not bad, not bad. Honestly, that's not bad at all. Um... Uh, yep. Yep, that's exactly that's exactly what. Uh, let's attack, right? Uh, yep. Ah, uh, you know, let's let's do this right now. Yeah, you know, let's take a uh, take that other grave. Uh, we could save that for Halan and Elena next turn. Think it out loud. Some raps for my upcoming magic song. Loving it, Felix. Wow. Dropping that, dropping that magic mixtape. Wow. What do we got here? Kumano and this. I think we got there, boys. Because now we actually block the Phoenix chick, too. So I think we're going to do it here. Oh, I guess we're just short. All right, fine. All right. I mean, if they go Godric into Monstrous Rage on Phoenix Chick, they could win, right? They do Monstrous Rage pre-combat on Phoenix Chick. I think then they'd have two flyers that I can't deal with. Or I can only deal with one of them, right? I think they'd both be able to deal uh, lethal damage. Okay, yep, 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 resolve all.
Is it Monstrous Rage? Do you fucking have it? Oh, thank God. We live at one. Thank fucking God. Oh, thank you, Felix. I, I am happy that you enjoyed that. I mean, whew. down to our last point of life. Deep breath. Deep breath. Fine, dude. Fine. It's it's keepable. Uh, I don't know. Although we might be up against enchantments, honestly, so maybe I should keep the Canker Bloom, right? Because then we can also get it under Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Maybe I should keep it. Maybe I'm wrong in that read, but I see Selesnya and an enchantment on the field. Okay. Um, I didn't put Canker Bloom out because we'd tap out for it, and a classic move that I've made, a classic mistake that I make is tapping out for Canker Bloom and then having it ossified, and then not having a replacement. <laughs> okay, that's, that's way too much card draw. That needs to be turned off. That ab That absolutely cannot happen anymore. Um, let's go ahead and uh, attack with uh, this one. I, I like that attack, I think. All right, yep. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. We'll save uh, Canker Bloom for uh, when they actually put something on the stack. Hamburger! Well done. Oh, thank you all, Raging Bull. Delicious, juicy. I'm loving it. Well done. Ossification. All right, come on. Target the Canker Bloom. Target Canker Bloom. Come on, dude. Target Canker Bloom. Ooh, they targeted that. All right, well, smart. Uh, there. Uh, we could catch them. We could catch them. Uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and let that happen. Um, Sergio, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, destroy who? Is it Takasia's Welcome, or is it this? I don't think Takasia's Welcome for now. <clears throat> alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, is it Bloated Contaminator? All right, no attacks, pass turn. <clears throat> okay, another restoration. I mean, they're going to have some big restoration. I'm going to need a lot of, like, creatures to be able to spam K. Yeah, bro. Bro, flood me. Fly to me! <clears throat> I 
All right, let's uh, start by... Um, we could probably besage you that Fang of Shigeki. Or kill it with C-Note Scout. How am I doing it? Let's let's start by attacking. Let's see what they do. All right, yeah, I I, I think I need to kill that Fang of Shigeki. So let's let's do that. Um, let's Anchor Bloom. Put that here so that it can can so it can proliferate itself. Well, now do this. Um, destroy target enchantment. Yes, thank you. Right there, we have trample, so trample throw. <laughs> All right, yep. We absolutely proliferate loaded contaminator. All right, thank God it enters tapped. <laughs> Remember to not stare. Ooh, good, good call. Yeah, good call. Thank you, Johnny. Good fucking call there. We need some creatures, dude. We genuinely fucking need some creatures. Like, psychotically badly. Um, it, it's actually horrifying at this point. Um, who do I get rid of? What is that? Why, why is it asking? Oh, right, non-basically. Do I get rid of this, or do I get rid of this, and then get my uh, intrepid paleontologist, and then kill this? What the fuck is the point there? What the fuck is the point there? You know what? It it's a creature. <laughs> it's a creature. It's an it's a modified creature, right? Creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on them. Yes, I did just finish reading that card. Um, we do have a creature in the graveyard. Beautiful. Let's attack. I want them to think that they can double block this. They can't. Um, all right. Yep. Let's uh, let that through then. All right, hang on. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I wanted to put the counter on this first. Uh, all right, fine. Because then we could have proliferated an oil counter and a plus one, plus one counter. Um, end the turn. I think I need to kill this before, before they attack with it. Um... Uh, destroy. I think we have to destroy this one. Weekly request of Voja. Since I already convinced Swayze to craft it and he did ending using it on a video. I just want to see the best of the creator's pie. I very much appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not against Voja. I just, I started thinking about that and then I started thinking about like other things. You know, that's, that's pretty much what happened. It's the, the Hydras and the, the, the cards that are coming up in the new set. It's definitely on my mind. Um, but yeah, thank you for the uh, <laughs> thank you for the request again, Felix, and I very much appreciate uh, I very much appreciate that. Let's um. Sadly, um. I don't know how we're gonna fucking get through this. So let's uh let's pass turn, right? I I think we have to pass turn here because we didn't get the creature to be able to destroy the Fang of Shigeki there. All right, I think it's no attacks here, if I had to guess. Um, let's just go ahead and take anything at all out of their graveyard. Taking that out makes me feel better. Lord Lazy, what's going on? Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream. All right, um, yep, my turn. Dude, fucking try harder. Try, fucking handcuff me harder. 
Um, alright, let's, uh... If I have to imagine that hell, so does the rest of the world. Ooh, I must... During the Chernobyl meltdown, some of the survivors were... Bro, what are you, what are you drawing when I'm getting dumpster here? That's what you're top decking? Fucking hell. Fucking bloody hell. All right. All right. Um, I think we should probably kill um, the Fanga Shigeki. Right? Um, right. I think that's what we do here, right? Yeah, I think that's what we do here. So destroy target enchantment. I think Halan and Elena sadly has to go here. Oh, some of the survivors were so irradiated, whenever they closed their eyes, they could see a bright blue glow. The jelly in their eyes, the jelly in their eyes was so radioactive it glowed. My goodness. If I have to imagine that hell, so does the rest of the world. Yo, back to Lord Lazy. I think that's for the second time. In conclusion, Voja is Chernobyl. That's what I got. I'm happy that I'm not alone there. All right, so. Uh... Did they leave enough? Did they leave enough? Because we have um, Agatha's Soul Cauldron. See if it is. See if it is an over sixty card deck. Such I must be super late on that. All right, he he makes another blocker, but he loses this blocker. Yeah. So. Oh, he draws two cards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> seriously, actually though. Seriously, fucking actually, bro, I'm really sorry, but the game tried very hard to hold your hand. I guess it was holding my hand, too, because you weren't drawing your stuff, but, like, that was a very weird game. He was obviously struggling, too. This person obviously didn't have a great game there. Um, wow. Although I say it was holding his hand, we did have Canker Bloom under Agatha's Soul Cauldron, but it wasn't giving us fucking creatures. And we didn't have tribute, so man. Oof. Rather Caesar using them wild cards on new stuff that's well, Voja's still really new though. It's it's gonna be in the same like, you know, standard graduating class as these new cards. It's just that's just where my mind went. I was definitely thinking about Voja, it's just then my mind then wandered. Oh, loud! He coming! He definitely threw, said Josh. I, I couldn't tell how he threw from his attacks or blocks. Or, oh, he blo he uh, he uh tapped too many things there at the end. Okay, okay, yeah. In that case, yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it for one second, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess it was a very impatient and um, frustrated. Because it, it really looked frustrating for the poor guy. You got the... Thr oh, Lord Lazy. Great call. Yeah, we have the Thrill Seekers in here. And Lord Lazy, I, I think it was one of the very first games that we played in this stream. Like, we had a nasty W with Thrill Seekers. Seriously, like, one of the first games of the stream. It might be worth your time. It was a fucking awesome, uh, awesome end. Well, you know, awesome for this deck. Which is pretty awesome. He holds open one mana instead of sending in Ginger Brute and using its ability, so. Something's afoot, boys! Something's afoot! Let's, uh, let's get this down and then attack and then drop this. Post-combat. 
Say if it's a Fading Hope, maybe, and it hits Evolving Adaptive, right, who's at three power now. That could be worth hitting it, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. If you control an artifact creature, yep. Send it back to our hand. Very well. We attack. I still want this down, though, so that next turn it can accept Lana and Elena counters. Blue aggro, perhaps? Blue artifact aggro? Definitely looking for their Zoetic Glyph then, right? If that was a three-mana turn, they're definitely looking for Zoetic Glyph. Yeah, I would say that those were uh, the options there, Lord Lazy, for the one-mana instant speeds, yeah. Most death. All right, we, we get them down, boys. The partners. <clears throat> and we're definitely attacking. Let me bring up the sleeves. When do you mention that they like them? Honestly, I faced Voja on Brawl, and I use Swatley. All right. 2-0. I don't understand the controversy of it. It's just a good card. You know, nothing unbeatable. Yeah, I heard people talking that they don't like Voja. I, I don't have a uh, opinion on it. I just heard about how people think it's very, very power, Very, very, very powerful. All right, we're not going to do that. Uh, we just decimated their side of the field. They find the glyph. That's definitely good for them. I like his little cactus helmet. Wait, who's cactus helmet? I got to find the cactus helmet. Um, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's get this down. Let's just dump. Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, they do get to discover three here. Yes, I clicked spacebar. That's pretty good. I mean, it enters the battlefield and they can tap something, so I, I won't attack with whatever they tap. Yep. Okay. Voja with Hot Springs, Loam Speaker, and whatever other wolves you like. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Although, I, I hate to burst the bubble for you. So I, I don't want you to get your hopes up. But what's going to happen is Voja gives those plus one, plus one counters on attack. So by the time she declares her attack and gives everything else plus one, plus one counters, yes, they will have haste from modified Hot Springs, but it will be too late to declare them as attackers. Um, wait, wait, can I just win? No, 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 I can't. Sorry, sorry. If that was a Thrill Seeker, we could win. All right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's get this one down, and let's attack. Um, do I do this right now? Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's do this right now. Let's see. They, they must have a surprise here. That, that's why I'm going through all this. They have two cards in hand. They have mana. It's got to be something. Okay, well, I mean, thanks for letting me swing. Okay. I appreciate that. Or maybe he did have something, but it, now his something isn't enough. Maybe it's that. I wonder. Punt Laza has definitely kicked my butt more times, <laughs> and nobody talks about it. They're all, they're all busy playing it. <laughs> maybe they're all playing it. And they're losing to Voja, and they don't like it. 1980s is... Ooh, ooh, I'm a little... Oh, I'm not too far behind, Chad. All right. 1980s is when blue decks were invented. Ugh, 
Russian psy? I think so. Yeah, it's pissing me off. Makes sense. It could be a psyop. Probably invented in Chernobyl. It, it's it sounds right, Richard. It's it giving me AIDS, giving me all those all those diseases. Chernobyl sounds right. The Ward Three Ah and Voja is pretty hard to deal with. The sleeves Ah. Okay, thank you, thank you. The cactus helmet on the sleeves. Thank you, thank you. There's worse commanders, of course. Ugh, ugh. Like Pac. Oh wait, this is a tribute to the World Tree deck. Really? Voja stream title says oh Rage Vo Oh Lord he coming I like that. Let's get this down. And no land, come on, no land, no land, no land. take. Wait, that's Monstrous Rage, right? I can do that. I can do that, right? No, no, no. It'll have three toughness. No, no, no. My bad, my bad, my bad. I misread it. Can't do it. Okay, then that's just a mind game with him. Block it and then unblock it. Just tax his mental energy. Keep him on his toes. Keep him guessing. He, d he doesn't know if we're, uh, if we're that dumb. If we're fucked up. If he's thinking, if he's wondering, if he's guessing, that's good. Is this it? Nah, uh, that's a lot of damage, though. Uh, let's see, that's 12 damage. So that's not enough. So let's only attack with that, I think. Yeah, let's not do that. We'll do that next turn for the for the win. I, I'm very happy this person's on one land. I mean, it's a big piece of shit game for this guy. Now I'm not happy. I mean, we have Halan and Elena, so I mean, yeah, okay, that's that'll be that'll be everything. That'll be absolutely everything. Hey, he he respects the cacophony scamp, honestly. And after that shitty game too, it's pretty. Oh right, yeah. Proliferate first. That was a that was a dumper game for him, but yeah, the red uh, the red player, he respects the cacophony scamp. He he knows. I love how every Soul Cauldron turns everything into canker doom. Oh, Moon Watcher. That what a card! It's like it's expensive right now, and like that card's fucking wild. And in this deck, it can turn everything into Thrill Seeker, too, because that's also an activated ability. I think we also have, you know, we have the Paleontologist abilities, two abilities on that activated that go under Soul Cauldron, and the Kami of Whispered Hopes. We have a 1, 2, 3. We keep. Voja is so good. I love it in, ooh, in Standard Brawl. With a roaming throne. Oh, ooh, that's in standard brawl. Yeah. Name it. Oh, you know, Tovalar is still in standard brawl with that shit, too. I don't know how great that is, but it's a wolf. Or is it a werewolf? If it's a werewolf, then fuck it. Brawl is the absolute worst. <laughs> I genuinely wonder which percentage of Baral players are just doing it because they know people are going to quit. And, and not even going to lie, I, I, I got to say kind of like fair game. Like, I don't really like it, but it, if they know that people are going to concede to it, people are going to play it for that exact reason. So, Wow, virtue on it. Yeah, I think that's a good attack. Let's get uh let's get who down. I like Sentinel. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty cool, dude. Let's uh, get one whole entire damage in on them. Not doing that. You drew that four times, big fat. Thank you, Richard. Were we talking about tribute at that point? I forget. Oh, the Lord has blessed you with a one lander mono red enemy. I'm still feeling grateful. Just absolutely blessed. Oh my God, dude, the Lord blessed me with Tyvar whiffing on his minus two. That's That almost never happens because it doesn't even return from among the milled cards. That's crazy. I can't believe that happened. Um, let's actually, let's do this. Um, let's start by attacking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start by attacking uh, here. And let's start by attacking here. That should be nice and annoying. You know what? I should have done the map token on Cacophony Scamp so that they have to block it more. Yep, we are killing Tyvar. So I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice my cute little Cacophony Scamp strategy there to, to fucking get Tyvar off the field. I... Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Beautiful. Yeah, it, we already have Canker Bloom. I, I'm feeling okay. Okay, yeah, they're, they're doing stuff. They got Insidious Roots immediately doing stuff with it. That's good. I think it might be too late, though. Um, let's start with this one. Doesn't matter. And I leave when they see Cankerbloom. This poor guy, and he's up against the guy who's running his Cankerbloom with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, dude. That's that I pour one out for this guy. He might still win the game. I said Lord Lazy about the uh, thing against Red. I'm still catching up in chat. This game is the equivalent of the 95-96 Chicago Bull Chicago Bulls era. Oh, wow. We must have had some nice one. Yeah. Oh, the Scamp W. Okay, then. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, my God. I'm so far behind chat. Jesus Christ. It feels intimidating at this point. Um, all right. Let's start with this. I shouldn't have dropped the land. I'm, I'm still fucking that up. Thank you. Eh, I think we'll pass that up. I might want the Canker Bloom or the Agatha's Soul Cauldron. <laughs> Bloated Contaminator probably stinks like... He better. He better stink like shit. That's why I like him. All my creatures smell like big, stinky... Well, you know, big, stinky sweat... Animals with sweat glands. Put it that way. Speaking of the Chicago Bulls, somebody just mentioned, probably smells like the Chicago Bulls, you know, like after the game in their locker room. Eh, man, oh, and, that, and that's why I like them. All right, the dude managed to get Tyvar and Insidious Roots down. Bravo, but like fucking God, dude. Well, let's see if we can find our answers. Thank God we got the first Insidious Roots. This guy hook, got hooked up with two Tyvars and noticed Tyvar Insidious Roots in the grave and on the field. God damn. You know what? Fine. <clears throat> I, th I think we definitely want that on the field then, huh? Um, do we attack? Yes. Yes, we absolutely do. We send Bloated Contaminator here. And we send you here. As a matter of fact, no, let's let's send you here. It's, it's imperative that Tyvar die. So 
long as evil lives. Straight up, bro. Like, please don't have a third. I'm, I'm gonna get the man land down now. Let's do this right on loaded contaminator. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hope he gets to smash an Azorius control nuts. Oh. Gosh. Oh, wow. The Boulder and Thrill Seeker. Not bad, dude. <clears throat> Not bad. Okay, but he's tapped out now, right? These don't have the mana ability. Oh, they do. Right, 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 right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Insidious Roots, right? Okay. All right, dude. Okay. Do I get this one down too? Yeah, just to have another thing to proliferate. All right. So, Lana, Lena, right. Uh, yep, right here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and attack, right? One, two. Boom, boom. Really make it hurt, I think, here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, yep. So two proliferates. All right, we'll use this. Feel bad leaving him out of all that proliferating? Sure, it draws us a card out of tribute, whatever. Board wipe or root? Oh, dude, you are getting fucking royally hooked up. Are you kidding me? Because now he removes Volder and... <laughs> he has zero cards in hand now. That was your top deck? Or maybe he got some surveils, but like, bro... Two Insidious Roots, two Tyvars. You, you got into this pretty easy right in the nick of time. Like, bro, that's... Uh, I think that's it, right? He just sacrifices them in Serial now. That was really... That was a real giveaway, dude. Like, good game, you know? Cool deck, definitely. But you got that fucking given away to you pretty free, dude. Good game, once again. Good game. Enjoy your free W giveaway, even with three lands. Cool deck. Horseshit draws. I, I felt really good with the Canker Bloom on his Insidious Roots. Nah. Dude's in God Mode. Good game once again. Cool deck. Fuckers in God Mode. Tovalar? Yeah, okay. It only cares about wolves, not werewolves. Alright. Tovalar, yup, is another super fun commander. Voja, ooh, and Throne is Ward 6. He had double triggered ability. Ward's a triggered ability, yes. Baral is Hell Q, so they get opponents they deserve. Malcolm is worse than Baral. Ooh, is it not in Hell tier yet? Oh, he's not yet. He's Hell Q free like Pac. Problem with Pac is it's legendary. Oh, so it can be a commander. I see what you're saying. Yeah, Reaver. Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream, by the way. Yeah, when it gets rolling. Yeah, especially with two Insidious Roots, that's nuts. Right, and a Tyvar out? Oh, that's insane. But definitely, once again, definitely a cool deck from that guy. As a matter of fact, I think... I don't know if he's playing the Covert Go Blue Jund um, Insidious Roots. Maybe he's doing his own thing. But yeah, fucking cool deck. Um, who is it going to be here? Canker Bloom or another Evolving Adaptive? Another evolving adaptive. The luck I've been... <laughs> oh, no. It's the luck that you've been having with Roots. I'm sorry that you've been having the same shit. Let's get this one down. That's it? No priority?
No way. What's going on here? Okay, his hand just royally, royally, royally sucked. Yeah. Ooh, Moonwatcher mentioned I love in Sharp Eyed Rookie better than Beast Caller. Yeah, what great card. Vigilance, yeah, I really like the Vigilance. I found myself not even sacrificing its clue tokens. I just I just really like the Vigilance. I sacrificed some of them, but I like the Vigilance more than the clue tokens. I, I love the clue tokens. But goddamn, being able to use it on defense too. Smells like Teen Spirit says old Rage Bump's so far behind in chat. I'm trying, boys. Four mana, Troxa. Oh, proliferate Troxa. Never looked up or seen Pock. Oh, oof. Enjoy. Enjoy, Felix. Hey, you can look him up. He looks like a cool card. You got to play against it repeatedly. That's the thing. In the 99, he's not always a problem in reference to Pock, but having him on... Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh... Uh, no attacks. I don't want to lose it now because they get that thing back when they proliferate, right? So I'll send Evolving Adaptive up to um, three power and toughness with Canker, Bloom's e with Canker Bloom ETBing, right? With three power. Okay, I guess I won't. Um, I kind of want Tribute down. Um, yeah, I kind of like Tribute. I get that list is to, to get that this list is to pass off. Oof, yup, very nice. I like bloated here. Unfortunately, we have a four-four on the field. Uh, we'll get drowned and nickered. I'm gonna hope that they don't have more removal. Oh, Lord Lazy, this is like the luck I've been having with the roots. Sometimes that thing can get on fucking god mode. <clears throat> fucking god mode. I think this might be Thrill Seeker. Can we win with Thrill Seeker here? We're going to deal six damage twice, and then eh, maybe not. I don't know if we can win there. We, we do proliferate, though. That's the thing. It, it's hard for me to map out exactly what happens here, so let's just fucking attack. If they take it, that will probably be it, though. All right, because we'll proliferate, and we'll have a 7 and a 4, and then we'll... Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. He hit me with an oops earlier. Was it a douchebag oops? Was it a douchebag oops? I can't tell. He's playing poison, though, right? So he's a douchebag. So let's, let's hit him with the oops. Uh, okay, uh, and the turn, I, uh, I might have fucked up a little bit. Um, okay, yup, and the turn, right, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I fucked up a little bit there. Yeah, that was hard to fucking add up. I still think I had the right spirit by, uh, trash talking, but I thought I actually had it one. Turns out I was, uh, off by, a, uh, by one there, which royally sucks. Let's hope we can still win. Hey, if he doesn't, we'll stand by our mistake and we'll we'll say good game. We'll take it on the chin. By the way, all we do is drop Canker Bloom, proliferate. <clears throat> well, sacrifice. Yeah, risky business there. Shit talking with uh with not lethal there. Almost looked like an ass. Oh well. We don't.
I want to try that two mana cactus. Oh, fucking cool, Moon Watcher with Landfall. Oh, Moon Watcher, there's an interesting card in that set that lets you put lands onto the field when you commit crimes. Just saying. It looks looks kind of interesting. <clears throat> I wonder what other landfall there is. Obviously, there's nice ramp, but I, I think that one's kind of cool. Yup, Yavimaya Iconoclast, Brazen Upstart. I'm not saying it's not cheap and unbalanced, not well thought up about Atroxa, I think, but it's also beatable. Oh, maybe about Voja then, okay. I have been told to hate cactus people in OTJ. You gotta you gotta throw off your programming, Richard Dragon. You're programmed, man. You're programmed to hate your fellow man instead of the corporations with all the money and all the power, man. No mana? Oh, okay. I'm so fucking far behind chat. Oh my god. Um. Oops. Motherfucker! Yeah, my, my bad there. I really almost ate that oop super hard, though. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I was convinced I actually had the lethal there. I, I, I must have thrown in an extra one or two somewhere in there. <clears throat> he sent an oops after removal i he said oops i hope it's because he fucked up i i couldn't tell yeah he did it after removal i couldn't tell i couldn't tell it, it seemed douchey but i couldn't tell but i took away the benefit of the doubt because he was playing the demir poison i could have given him the the um the benefit of the doubt Reaver said something about the bloom. Was that powerful? Oh, yeah. The root stick is almost unbeatable when it gets going. So, yeah. God damn. Oh, all right. Let's, uh. All right. Let's uh, start by attacking. They might block with that. They have descend on that thing. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. No prob. Hey, they have black creatures. Could be like Jix or something. Maybe not. I mean, I see Descend here, to be honest. It probably isn't Jix. Right? Surveil and Descend. Okay, it's not Jix. <laughs> oh, you've been having really good luck. Okay, okay, okay. That's the luck that you've been having playing it. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. Fundamental misunderstanding there. Felix Grail hated the Demir Poison deck. I'm so far. <laughs> I, Reaver loves that every deck you play has tribute. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, that's... It's the best. It's so good. It's too good. Um, Ooh, this is a good card. Um, But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, attack. Yeah, this is actually a guy who the paleontologist would be, like, the greatest against. Like, the absolute greatest against this guy. Right? We would fuck him up right here. I don't know. What, what's the good one? Is it Souls of the Lost, or is it this thing? Ah, he finally settles on it, all right? All right, there you go. You found your card. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's going to come in pretty nice next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Oh, we sacrifice. Dude, find me the paleontologist. No. Wow. Uh, nah. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Oh no, I was gonna put down a canker bloom and I decided to use the last mana. Oh man. Well. I don't think we're gonna get through their souls of the lost. But we're gonna need Halan and Elena now on the field. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Yup, we lose Canker Bloom. Drop it. Easterners moving here, then becoming native. It's a real issue around here. Oh, hipster Richard Dragon. You don't speak for the tribe, Karen. Just shut up and burn Sage and sit down with your... Oh, with the crystals. Hey, okay. All right. That, that's actually not bad here. That's actually not terrible at all. Um, We might want to just pass the turn. Okay. Yep, take. I'm not killing that creature for Liliana. You have to minus two. Oh, is he doing his Field of Ruin here? Wow, Undead Butler. Shit. Alright, yep. Is there anything that I can take? That's like activated abilities. I'll just work on the Dream Thieves, I guess. Right now that he doesn't have the mana for them. For the uh, Surveil. If Thrill Seeker survives, Canker Doom proliferate and then fling. Oh, I, I remember that play. You nailed it. You nailed it. All right, that hits home here. Uh, we're going to have to start using Agatha's Soul Cauldron uh, to slowly weaken it. It's not going to be nearly enough. You play your discards. Wow, okay. Don't think. Yeah, it's not going to be nearly enough. Let's get rid of the, uh, the Fairy Dream Thief. All right, my turn. <sighs> uh, that's that's the whole entire game. G wonderful game. That's that's not gonna do a damn thing here. <laughs> yeah, because now they get to minus Liliana, and it lives. Right, that was a good idea, I think, by them to plus one it there. Yep, the crime ramp card seems cool. Ooh, in Golgari, yeah, they do commit a lot of crimes. At least the reverse weebs. The reverse weebs. Okay, I'm just I'm trying to read through chat fast here so I can actually catch up and read you guys like when it counts. Anybody running that ugly deck is a douche. I love it. Love it. Thank you, Felix, for the... Thank you all for the camaraderie when it comes to oopsing a uh, Demir Proliferate, by the way. I just want to say that even though I fucked up with the oopsing, you guys still had my back, and for that, I'm grateful. Moonwatcher hates Lily. I see that there. There's something about part Cherokee? That was a good top deck. Oh, Moonwatcher. Oh, she is quite fucking annoying. Oof. Yep. Let's get this down. The best card. In my eyes. Beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. And damn. I like what I see. Okay. Lockdown. Oh, this is that deck. Oh, this is that deck. Oh, I needed that Canker Bloom then. I needed that Canker Bloom. That's bad. <coughs> it's going to be Hammer Skull into Fight Rigging then, right? Uh, yep, let's get that down. Let's do this. We have to find Canker Bloom to deal with their Fight Rigging. I'm going to guess the Hammer Skull comes down right in front of us right now and then followed by Fight Rigging. Interesting Courier's briefcase in this one. I would expect that to hit Angel Fire Ignition or Temp Lockdown. Uh, we could do another Tribute and then try to really draw some cards, like starting with Evolving Adaptive. We might really need to draw huge cards against this person, honestly. <clears throat> um, okay, let's do this. 
Wow. Alright, yeah, I will attack there. They're welcome to double block if they'd like. Yep, no prob. Right here. Ah, uh, yes. That's exactly what I need. I need to draw multiple cards while that turns off their uh, fight rating. Quintorious, wow. Fight rigging, beautiful. They can't, uh, they can't use it here. Beautiful. Well, I mean, they obviously can do it, but it's not gonna give them the free cast. So beautiful. I say as I hide. <laughs> Planeswalker shouldn't be four mana, but I say as I hide who. As I hide, yeah, Dabri. Hate the zombie lover too. Necrophiliac. Ah, Professor. Okay. Well, um, we're we're looking alright here because we have Canker Doom. We have the Canker Doom boys. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even hover over the the library. What a, what a scrub. Uh, let's get this down. Yeah, let's get this down. I'm feeling good. All right, let's uh, let's attack at uh, our boy. Victorious. I think they'll just let that happen, right? I had to guess. They just let that go. All right, that will be um, past turn. I put the stop there, so that way before it goes to, um, like with, yeah, yeah. Poison MF, deserve all the oopses, good, good, good. Felix agrees with Moonwatcher about the four manas. Going over it so I can actually fucking be caught up with chat. I'm almost there. Ren is also allowed to exist. Good. She's my M. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You've mentioned that. Yeah. Because of the hex proof. Um, wow. Wow. I mean, we're going to be able to royally fuck those up, though. Ha you got the hammer skull? Oh, no. All right. Well, we have to hope that one of these isn't very good. The Hammer Skull, too. Well, he's going to gonna get one of these fight rigs off, then. That's too bad. Uh, there's Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Oh, thank God. All right. It's not Angel Fire Ignition. All right. All right. Alrighty then. Let's uh go ahead and right here. Alright, now we need to find fucking Halan and wow, we're gonna draw a lot of cards. I don't even need to draw the Canker Bloom to do that, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Um yeah, let's go ahead and sacrifice this, right? We're gonna destroy Fight Ring too. I don't think we need to, though. I mean, we can honestly hold. Because yeah, I'm, I'm playing on drawing, like, a lot of cards. Um, all right, let's get this down. Uh, yeah, I'm playing on drawing lots of cards. Let's do this. We're tapped out, unfortunately. But, like, I'm I'm feeling okay. Um, no attacks, right? Um, yeah, we could attack with this one. Yeah, yeah, because we have the Kami down. So they'll probably sense that that's a, a a trap. Or maybe they'll double block correctly. But yeah, with Agatha's Soul Cauldron on that, it becomes um, a 7-8. Alright, we'll take from uh, wherever there's a goddamn creature. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get rid of that. Right, the play is top deck Halan and Elena. You got a courier briefcase, not fight rigging. Oh. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Okay, I think we drew a lot of really fortunate cards there against this person. I think we got really fortunate there. Yeah, they were digging for what I would assume is Angel Fire or, or Angel Fire Ignition, and I wonder if that's the face down card and we blasted the correct fight ringing when I had the choice to choose two. Yeah, you just give a big pugnacious hammer skull like that a uh, Angel Fire Ignition off of a fight ringing, and that's a lot of stabilization because it gives a big creature plus two, well, two plus one plus one counters, vigilance, life link, uh, right, indestructible haste. Oh. It's actually a really sweet deck. I think some content creator got it off of Reddit, and then, it, you know, it's cool, so a bunch of other ones played it. The boy, Quintorius B.I.G. Richard, I will... Oh, man, I was almost caught up with chat. Now I'm fucking... Oh, man. I'll keep it fine. I will move there and be offended for them. Oh, good. Then we will be on the same page. Quintorius is definitely east side. East coast. East coast. Okay. Oh, nice one damage hit there with uh, this thing. Okay, okay. Felix likes Quintorius. Such a good boy. Hope his creature version gets more play. Ooh, right from March of the Machines. Yeah, he was released there. Long story short, white people, quote, helping their native brothers. Uh, we can't block that. I don't really want to. I guess we can. I want to. Uh, this is going to let them, like, replay stuff, right? From among cards exiled with it. Um, maybe I do this now just to have it on the field. Their native's brother just makes things worse. The natives can handle it themselves. Why is he even playing the vault for? Assume you're talking about this one. I wonder. Wait, we're going to have to see some art. We're going to have to see some uh, instants and sorceries in the graveyard, though. I mean, he does have prowess here, you know. We'll see. I think he might be able to use this adventure with this, though, because it says you may cast an instant or sorcery spell for among cards exiled with it. Wouldn't that include this? Um, also, is this one a trap? I think it's a trap there, right? I think that's a trap, but it, Monstrous Rage brings it up to three toughness, so I think I'm okay with blocking it. Okay. Yeah. We stopped three damage. Wow. All right, let's uh, do this. This time, I think no attack. Let the tribes reach a decision, then help them achieve it without your input. That's how you help. We're saving the world here, man. Profound. One card in hand. Why not fading hope before... I couldn't tell you. I I, I guess he... I don't know. He, maybe he didn't think I was going to block. I don't know. One card in hand. It, it must be perfect. It must be the absolute perfect thing. Boys, you, you just can't stop them in fucking god mode. You think you can, you absolutely can't. You just absolutely can't. <laughs> I mean, that's a uh, that's a wonderful. That is, I mean, good game. You know, cool stuff. But I I, I genuinely wish. That I could have done more than just gawk awkwardly while you had everything perfect. I really wish I could have showed up and played a meaningful role in that game. Draw awkward cards while you draw perfect cards was my role.
Better than doing it against the Boros, though. So, you know, cool stuff. Sorry, that was decades of pent-up. Go after yourself, Garen, says Richard. I'm happy you're feeling better. Fading Hope is another card I'm glad to not have to see anymore. It's not really played in Standard anymore, but it still reminds me... Oh, okay. Bad memories of the Is It Epiphany days. We can't keep the hand with only three drops. Fine, I'll keep the hand with two lands and a lot of three drops. Oh, wow. That's really good. That is really good. Has anybody made use of Sahili? Oh, red and blue Sahili, who does something, possibly makes a, uh, <laughs> possibly makes some sort of copy of something. I should have done that post combat. Oh, one day I'll learn. One day I'll figure it out. And I shouldn't have attacked. What if he had virtue? Eh, we'd destroy the two too. Spelunking. Yeah, I want tribute down. Wow. Okay, come on, not spell pierce. Oh, he had the blue. Oh. Thank you for not having spell pierce. So those are all basic lands. I, I assumed it was caves when I saw Spelunking. I don't know why. All right, um, I'm going to do this one and not risk Klon and Alina right now. We're, we're going to see what's going on over there. <clears throat> All right. Wow, C-Note Scout. Okay. Yeah, let's do this uh, right where? Here? Here. Uh, Yeah, sure. It draws me a card off a of tribute. Sure. Sure. Memory Deluge. Wow. Um, I wondered if I should sacrifice it there, considering we're probably going to get wiped. I would say Ill-Timed Explosion, if I had to guess. Looks like it could happen here, because they have uh, one white. Oh, right, that enters untapped. All right, we keep the Sentinel. That's really good. It could have been a lot worse there. <laughs> could have been a lot fucking worse there, dude. Um, this is going to be a huge pain in the fucking dick, though. Um, I, I can't deal with it right now. Wow. All right. Um. I think we need the paleontologist to go after their graveyard or Agatha's soul cauldron. Uh, to do it a little slower. <laughs> yeah, I think you nailed it, um, Moon Watcher. Yep, definitely World Souls Rage. Yep, uh, let me go ahead and do that. I would assume it's World Souls Rage for more board wipes. Or white for more board wipes, excuse me. Okay. Really would have been nice if we had one of our four pieces of graveyard hate against this. I I don't know. We maybe we could win. Could we win? It's possible we can win.
He has enough to like do virtue now. Anyhow, cactus people bad. Okay, I am supposed to be big mad, says Richard. Oh, we might be playing some cactus people on the channel, but Richard. You're, you're going to be mad as hell when we get Prickly Bill out here. I mean, Prickly Bill is going to make Richard Dragon awfully prickly Richard. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no! Wait, the fucking auto-passing got me! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! What the hell? I I have to kill this shit, right? Or else, or else it's just gonna be the dumbest shit in the universe next turn, right? We we have to kill that, right? Let's attack. All right, let's uh, go ahead and do this right here, I think. Uh, how much is this? One, three. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yep, that'll be all. End turn. Yes. Sometimes I feel like it's the ultimately do nothing deck until it the ultimate do nothing deck until it destroys me. It takes for fucking goddamn ever. I'll tell you that. The average amount of stuff happening while you play this deck is nothing. They're all they're all fucking overwhelmed by it. And I get it. It's a it's a lot to deal with, but like don't fucking play it. Play it against Sparky until you have some, uh, you know, so you're good. I think the slur would be bricks. That's kind of fucked up for me to highlight. I, that's quite all right. Quite all right. I'm loving it. Pricks. Those goddamn cactus folks. Bunch of pricks. I'm loving it. Loving it. That's fucked up for me to say, but I don't care. I give a shit. I never do. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right, Josh. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I fucked that one up. It's so much easier, but it's so much more powerful. It's too powerful. See if he just wins right here with World Souls Rage. I'd say he probably has enough, right? Is that seven? That's six lands. So that's 18 mana. Wow. All right, yeah. Wow. We're, st we're still not there. We're still not there. There's all the mana in the world. So he could just do X equals 20 and win. It's, it's the easiest thing. I, I have to assume he has it. It, this deck seems to be gifted everything they need every time. Wow. Yeah, good game. There you go. That'll do. Hey, you know, won it with Song of Totentons. Good game, dude. I mean, not gonna lie. Five lands. Sitting here struggling the whole entire time. I fucked myself over once, but... uh. It got a little bit of help while being fed everything. <laughs> uh, we really sat there while it didn't seem like he missed a beat.
If I had about as good of that game, I would have had Cankerbloom and Agatha's Soul Cauldron. <laughs> Oh, wait, or my any of my graveyard hate against that deck. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually have so much stuff that's good against that deck. Oh, that's right, and I got none of it. Um, let's go ahead and... Eh, eh, nah. Sure, yeah, let's keep one of these. Okay, we're ready to go. Cactus Jack, wow. Cactus Jack. Fucking... Mankind. Okay. Human cactus. Green white. Flavor text. Enjoys Tex-Mex and long walks in the desert. Wow. Man, you're gonna be picking up the cactus ladies with them with a bio like that. Good for him. Well, prickettes. The difference between a Vol Volvo and a pork Yupon. Pork Yupons have pricks. On the outside, oh wow, is, is it the Volvos who are pricks over there? Around these parts, it's the, the Audis and the BMWs. Oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I think we're going to get board wiped. I'm immediately going to leave. It's not because of the board wipe. It's because he's blue-white, and I'm not interested. <laughs> I value my time, you say. <laughs> if I can narrate what you're going to do before you do it with a high degree of certainty, my personal valuation of that time is not worth it. You know, because I, I have all the enjoyment in my imagination without dealing with you, you know? So I get I get to run through the pleasures, the joys, the thrills of facing blue-white control in my head. I, all right, let's think. Let's think. We're going to wait a long time to ask permission to follow the rules. Oh, wow. Oh, man. that I'm jumping up. You can't. You guys can't see it. I'm jumping up and down right now. Having a blast. Oh, man. I could sit there and take a, a far above average game length amount of time to have a far below average game enjoyment man man it can take forever to suck to jesus christ i'm in i'm in and it's the exact same shit man a, a fucking prescribed list just ritualistically going through all the same cards like it always is fuck yeah Oh, Jesus Christ, you, you had me at takes forever to suck to face you. Why are you keeping on selling it to me? You know, you, it's sold. I want to play the blue white. I want to play it. Have to. I really wanted to get tribute down there, but we have to. Is that you? We know exactly who this person is. Wow! Thank God. Thank God. All right, let's start with this. Wow! Painful quandary. Fucking okay. All right. Let's uh, discard a card. I think this one, maybe. I play the bloated contaminant, I, then I'd have to block Obliterator, right? 
We could play the Soul Cauldron. Yeah, I, I think we have to do that. I think we have to. All right, let's uh, do this right now. All right, let's get rid of uh, anything. How about, uh, where's a creature? Any creature, does it matter? This one might be the best one. Um, right here, no, right here. Right here. And do we attack? Yes, I think so. We'll sacrifice the lands? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, and uh, five. Oh, that's uh, we can't let him block Halana and Alina. Um, so I think we have to uh, pass back to him here. And he loses two life. I think that's it. We just can't attack with Halan and Elena. Because it would be first strike we have to sacrifice. Wow. Wow. I'm actually so happy that he didn't have the removals those last few turns. Genuinely so happy that he didn't have the removals and he didn't chimmel into it. Oh, I'm stealing the Denver Namaste, by the way. Like they stole the railroad. Oh, still mad about the railroad. Wow. We all in Colorado know Subaru is best. Namaste. Cactus Jack? Yeah, that dude's a prick, says Old Raging Bull. Loving it. Now that, says Josh. Yes. Yes. That was a satisfying victory. God. How, I, I felt so tense, though, when we weren't attacking. I was like, oh, God, I feel like such an idiot not attacking. Wow. We made all those sacrifices. We actually won after sacrificing like that to Obliterator. That's why I stopped using that card, says Richard. Trophy, or trophy, trophy, goat. Such a good win trampling that sacrifice. Ugh. Ugh. I, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are happy. I'm happy that that happened. I like these sleeves. I'm having a good time watching those sleeves there. Let's get down Beast Collar. It's got a cool art. I don't know what it does. Is it good? I don't know. Hammer Skull. Hammer Skull. Dude, play Fight Rigging. Please, for the love of God, play Fight Rigging. Another Hammer Skull. Oh, brother. Now I'll take the first one. We're going to power up our Beast Caller. No attacks. If I, oh no, dude, when I tapped out for Canker Bloom, you have it now? Oh, good call. Probably a smart timing of when to play it, but Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, well, we're going to block this one. That's a pretty good block, I think, right? I'll take 7 damage, I believe, right? Yes, 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 yes. 
All right, I think we're looking pretty good here, honestly. I think we're looking pretty psychotically good here. Yeah. I, that's probably going to do. Yeah. That's going to be all, boys. We didn't even fling. We had two flings ready to go for a total of 17. I'm done. Oh. He does absorb removal spells. I guess, says Richard. Oh, if you're talking about Obliterator, yeah, <laughs> he does absorb re removal spells. Although his cousin, Phyrexian Vindicator, sometimes does, and if it's burn spells, that's pretty cool. All right, boys. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for supporting me. I hope you guys appreciated my goofy, uh, gruel, give, bloated, contaminator, haste bullshit. Um, I hope you actually really did appreciate the Cacophony Scam, because that's actually pretty nuts in this one. But thank you guys for being here, and thank you for liking my stream. Lord Lazy, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, your loyal viewership. And the same goes to everybody else. Boys and girls, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Like the goddamn stream, please, and bye. <laughs>